Well, good morning and welcome back to Log Cabin Firewood. I am Jack and this week we are helping out a neighbor once again. Stick around. What's up guys? Today we've got a little bit of oak and a bunch of stuff in the brush that my neighbor needs cut up and split up. And since uh, the past few weeks have been about helping out the neighbors, we're just going to keep that trend rolling. There's also a little bit of softwood over here. Looks like some gum. Uh, maybe another piece of, that might be some maple back there too. But we're going to get the weed eater fired up and get some access to this stuff and see what we can get cut up today. It is also 88 degrees right now. And the heat index says it's 104 degrees with the humidity. I've only been out here for maybe an hour and I'm soaking wet already. But uh, let's see what we can get done. Good thing I grabbed extra string because I knew I was going to run out. Well, today we are going to use the 044. I do have the 500 in the truck as well over there. But I, uh, I got up early, I cleaned the saw. I'm surprised, I haven't used it in two years. And I dumped the gas out and I put fresh gas in and on the second pull it fired right up. This is a workhorse. Uh, if you could find these old, older O models, these are the steels to go with. Let's start with this piece of oak right here.
right, well, I thought I could withstand this heat. It is now 107 degrees with the heat index and over 90 degrees, like 88% humidity. It's uh, disgusting out here. I am completely uh, drenched from head to toe, but we got a little bit cut up. The camera kept overheating, but I did get one big piece. Uh, I got this big stump piece and I started working on a couple pieces over here and the camera kept shutting off even in the shade. So I'm going to go home and take a shower real quick and get cleaned up and then we'll come back when the shade is over this area because right now Mr. Sun is uh, right above us. We'll be back. We got some good uh, rain showers. It's, uh, it went from 108 degrees to about 80 degrees, which feels really nice. It's actually, I think it's about 78. So, so we're going to keep cutting on some of this stuff. Well, we made quick work of this oak. I, uh, when I went home, I put another, I sharpened the chain a little bit and played with the rakers. So that, uh, that chain really ate through this stuff. I gotta finish this one piece right here, but let's go look at the ash we've got. So Mr. Paul uncovered a bunch of uh, ash back here. Bunch of limb wood, there's a couple uh, good pieces here, but we're gonna get this uh, cut up real quick. Tomorrow, I'm planning on getting the neighbors tractor or a skid loader and then I'll load my trailer up and take it home and split it and then we'll bring it back and stack it. All right, it is still nice and humid out here. But we got a bunch of this ash cleaned up and we'll come back in the morning with the tractor and we'll get it loaded up. What do you think, Mr. Paul? I think it's great. This is Mr. Paul, guys. He uh, helps us out with beta a lot. And uh, this is my way of saying thanks for helping us with the dog. So thanks, Paul. Hey, you're welcome. <laughs> I mean, you did twice the work as I do with beta. Beta's a treat. Ah, that's awesome. All right, we'll be back in the morning with the tractor.
This is a pretty good load of uh, oak, and I believe this is maple. Uh, they thought it was gum, but it looks like a, a bunch of maple, and there's a couple pieces of ash here. We're going to get this stuff split up because it needs to season, and then we will come back for this load of ash. This big piece almost took out the camera. I had the camera sitting right here in this bare spot. Let's get set up and get the Easton Made 916 warmed up and rocking and a rolling. Easton Made. It's not the new standard for firewood professionals, it is the absolute standard. All we're left with is a little bit of slash. And then we've got the trailer entirely full again. Now it took me about 40 minutes to cut this stuff. Probably about 40 minutes to load it. And then I will go look at the splitter real quick. It said 12.3 hours on it. And let's see what it is now. So now it says 14.4 so I guess it took me two hours to load this trailer. So did I just complete the uh, full cord challenge? So I wasn't even trying to do it this way but and this isn't a measured cord but typically my trailer holds a full cord. It might be a little bit more since it's heaved up but I just did cutting, loading, splitting back into the trailer in 3.3 hours which I think is uh, pretty good. And my buddy Paul lives like through the woods over here. So he's not that far away. 
but let's go get this dumped or stacked or whatever he wants to do and i'll see if i can't get uh some more stuff loaded up at his house well i definitely think i could win the uh wet t-shirt contest today because it is uh super hot but we got the oak stacked up and there's one row here that's eight foot long and then these other two rows here are about i don't know let's go look maybe eight and a half nine feet long uh i'll say they are nine feet long so it's definitely more than a cord here and it took us uh what time is it it took us an hour to stack this so that would be four hours 4.3 hours cutting splitting and stacking one full cord and before i go home i am going to since I still got the tractor here, it's still hiding over there. Um, I'm going to load up this ash. That way I'm done with the tractor and I can return it to its owner. We got the ash loaded up. And this load was not quite as big as the oak, which is good because it's super hot out here. But uh, we'll go get this dumped and get it split up. Well, we're back the next day. Uh, we got a bunch of rain last night. Um, I came home and crashed because it was like super hot again. There's going to be a bunch of debris in here left over from that oak, but we'll have to get all that cleaned up after we get this ash split up. Um, go check out uh, Central Minnesota firewood. I picked up one of Eli's shirts. Uh, he's got a bunch of stuff kicking on his channel where he's talking about starting up with pretty much nothing. Um, where he has bought budget saws. He started splitting with an ax and then he bought a budget hydraulic splitter. So he's showing how you can start a small firewood business from scratch with minimal money needed. Um, but yeah, check him out. Pretty cool channel. Was some of the nastiest ash I've ever dealt with like it's borderline rotten but uh this guy <laughs> Mr. Paul will probably just burn it anyway there are some good pieces in here but it's definitely not as much as what the oak was um definitely made a mess here of the driveway we'll have to get this scooped up and take it to the landfill and it's 25 bucks a ton for green waste some of this stuff over here the ash this this was just the ash that came off today like there was a little tiny pile from the oak um just goes to show that you know most of this stuff was rotten around the outside i'll probably scoop some of this stuff up and throw it in the fire pit today before it rains 
but I'm already trying to cram a lot of stuff into this video today, but today is Taryn's birthday. She turns the big 4-0, I mean 29. Everybody, let's wish my beautiful wife a happy birthday in the comments down below. And let me know what you think about me helping out the neighbor, splitting up his stuff. Uh, Mr. Paul had, I think he had a kidney replaced a couple years ago. Um, and he's on all kinds of medications. And that man sat out there and helped me as much as he could yesterday. And I kept telling him, Paul, go inside, go get some water, go inside, sit down. But uh, he refused to give up. And I like that his eagerness and his uh, ambition to keep going, even on all the medications that he's on, dealing with the heat. Uh, first day we started this, it got up to 108 degrees until that rain came through and took it down to about 80. And then yesterday it was about 100 degrees when we were stacking this stuff in the full sun. And I kept telling him repeatedly, please go inside. I said, I'm not giving you mouth to mouth. <laughs> I mean, I probably would if I had to, but you know what I mean. But uh, that's all I got for you this week, guys. Uh, again, wish Taryn a happy birthday. Hope is coming up in a couple weeks as well. Uh, I think we got, what, three weeks, two or three weeks from this video when you see this. Um, Hope will be coming out. Uh, I just got confirmation this morning that Russ from Wiley's Firewood is going to come down from Maine with his all-wood splitter. And that's really cool. And I believe he's going to be making some videos talking about Hope as well and their trek coming down. So that's super cool. Um, right now, I know there's at least... Me, Ken, Ken, Brad, Scheib, possibly Matt from Lily's Farm and Firewood, and Russ. So that right there is seven splitters. And if I bring both of mine, that'll be eight. So uh, I, I think uh, this year's already going to be better than last year. Um, again, if you guys have any questions about that, you can reach out to Mr. Ken Anderson from York Firewood, who is really putting this event on because it's in his backyard. His email is kenafp at gmail.com. Or if you've got questions, I could probably help you too. You can reach out to me at logcabinfirewood83 at gmail.com. But uh, Hope is a cancer network that takes care of a bunch of patients. It's a nonprofit. They do a lot of good things for a lot of people in need. And it'd be great if you could come out and help. Or if you wanted to make an online donation, if you don't want to make the travel, or if you can't make the travel, because a lot of people are all over the country and Pennsylvania is 20 hours away from you. Uh, but I can also put the address to the organization in the description of this video as well. But thank you guys so much for watching. Please take care of each other. Stay hydrated. And I will catch you back here next Saturday. Man, my hair's a mess. It's 6.30 a.m. And until then, you should probably go uh, check out some of these videos. I mean, there's this one and this one. Um, they're, they're good videos. Check out some of my old stuff, too. And make sure you press the like button. really helps us out. Thank you, guys. I'll see you back here next weekend.